right, so this is me playing the world event for the first time. Honestly, this is just a just a rundown of like some quick things that I've learned after I played it a few times. I'll do another video where I get more in depth about you know what you need to do and stuff like that. But for the most part, I'll just give the basics. The basics for world event is that you want to score as many points as possible by killing as many enemies as possible while not getting hit because every time you get hit you lose points now with this one we have a character we have a character like ghost panther which ghost panther with the way his uh skills are set up he's able to solo this you don't have to trade out but if you have characters with very low skill cooldowns and the cards don't fix that or you can't use the leadership to fix that and you don't have a character strong enough to kill them quickly by themselves then it's good to switch out from character to character but for the most part like with ghost panther i can solo this now this wasn't my first round with ghost panther this was like my second or third i can't remember exactly but this was the that first day this is my first round i mean this was like my first world event but it wasn't my first round playing it but basically what I do here is I try to use the iframes as much as possible as well as I try to use the guard as much as possible. I I, I would say stay away from canceling skills. It's, it's better to, unless the skill, like unless you're canceling a part that puts you in danger, it's better to just go ahead and let the skills play out so you can do as much damage as possible with them because skill cooldowns are so low in this game mode because you don't really have your, your cards or your alliance, uh, you know, stab boost. So, you know, try to focus on characters that do a lot of damage while also being able to not take damage. That's the goal of this. This is this is the kind of mode that a lot of us have been asking for, a mode that's not just based on DPS, like not just based on how hard you can hit, but also based on like survivability. Cause this is a mode that would be extremely well for people with a lot of guards and stuff like Captain America. While, you know, you know he's not really the best for pvp or pve but he is one of the best when it comes to survivability so like this is one of those types of modes but yeah so it's pretty fun i had a lot of i have a lot of fun with it i would say i would just know that you only can you know get personal rewards for two plays a day i mean for two runs a day it runs four times a day i uh, i hear you can still you still take part in the world reward even after those first two so you can play all four but you only get the personal rewards for two at least that's what i'm hearing from uh from a lot of other people i don't play enough to get all four runs because it's you know one of them is at 1 a.m that that one i don't really hit as much but overall i would say i, I would i would say uh you know just have some fun with it and I'll come out with another video as soon as possible explaining more about it as well as I plan to drop more vid. So, uh, thanks for checking out my vid today. It's your boy King Tank. All right, and I'm about to be out of here after you see my awesome badass score of nearly boop.